What's going on everybody? Moniac here. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. Well, this in this video I'm going to be showing you guys my trout fishing stuff. Uh, very simple stuff that I use for when I go fishing for the stocked uh, trout in my local lakes. I got a couple requests for this video, so I'm be just going to be showing you guys what I use. So stay tuned for that. Alright, so for the most part, I like using spoons. As you guys can see here in this, in this, uh, what I have so far. So, I don't like using a power bait, I don't know, simply because it's very, it's, it's messy and, uh, you know, I catch, I tend to catch more fish on, you know, spoons than I do power bait. Power bait's good, it works good, like I, I I've used it and, uh, I still do, but it's just, uh, I mean, I don't like buying power bait and I don't like using it, it's kind of not my thing. So, for the most part, Castmaster, this one right here, silver and blue. And I changed the hooks out. See, as you guys can see, this one's like a gold hook. Um, very, it's smaller than the than the than the stock hook that comes on um, the Castmasters. It's a little bit smaller and, and tends to work a little bit better as well. And it's more flashy and stuff. It's gold color. But I've actually found this lure walking around in my one of my local lakes. I, I was walking around and uh, I found it on the ground. And I never thought I would use it, but as soon as I went to the stock this year, I just started casting it out and casting it out. Maybe the fifth cast, I caught a trout, and I was just like, oh, I'm going to keep using it. So I kept using it, and in my previous videos, as you saw, I brought home like, you know, four, four fish, which was pretty cool. But I like using, this is my favorite style of uh, bait to use for trouts. And not too long ago, I went to Bass Pro Shops, and I got this one. Which is, uh, you know, it's their brand, of, it, but it's the same thing as a Castmaster, you know. Uh, let me see if I can get it open for you. But it's the same kind of thing, and in my lake, they say that red, red and silver work the best. So, um, you know, I got this one, and this one's not red and silver, but it's orange and, and, and silver. So, I mean, that's close enough. <laughs> but, because uh, they didn't have any red and silver ones, or else I would have gotten that one. See, as you can see, it's orange and, and silver, brand new. Like I said, the hook is much bigger on, 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 in the, you know, the stock hook is way bigger when you buy it. And I, I don't know, I don't like that big hook on there. Um, I like the smaller one. So I'm going to have to definitely change that hook out as soon as I can buy some more of the golden hooks because I already ran out of them. But I love these kind of uh, cast masters. They're the, they're the best, my favorite anyways. And also, I went um, fishing like not too long ago actually, uh, it was actually last week on Wednesday and I didn't want to take any fish home at all, even though they were stock fish, I, I, just, don't, I just don't like taking fish home. Um, the last fish, uh, on the last video that you saw, I, actually, I did eat those fish, so they didn't go to waste or anything, but I just don't like to and take them home. And so I released them. I, w I was, and I wish I would have showed you guys. Uh, I wish I would have taken my camcorder so I can show you guys some footage, but I didn't. But uh, I cut them all on this one, and there was about four of them. And uh, it's very easy. You know, they get lip hooked. You just take the hook off and let them go. It's pretty simple. And sometimes with the dough bait, like I said, they swallow the crap out of it, and it's almost impossible to take, you know, the hook out of them. So. And this is a new stringer I got also when I went to Bass Pro Shop. I didn't have one, so I needed one. I would I would always be using like other anglers stringers, and I was just like, you know what, gotta buy my own. So I did. It was like three dollars or something like that. Very good deal. So I took it. So for the for the most part, oh, and here's another one right here. This is another spoon that I use. It is a gold. I don't remember what the brand was. Um, it's called like full. Foib, or I don't know, I can't really see it. Uh, Foib, I don't know, but you guys get the picture. I mean, it's like a little fish, and it's kind of bent, so it gives you like a 3D uh, illusion. And I also took off the the stock hook, and I put the gold hook on. This one right here, I actually have not caught anything on it yet, but uh, hopefully, I'll be able to catch uh, a fish with that because it looks really cool, you know. But then again, I haven't thrown it very uh, very often, and then there's. There's the uh, the barrel swivel with the snap on there, so it prevents the you know the um, the twist, the line twist, 
and also a little bit more up in the line I have another barrel swivel snap just in case I want to switch this one off because this this spoon came with this already on so and when I tie one of these on there I have to have it on so down the line right here as you guys can see I have another snap swivel on there so and for the most part this is the rod I use it is the they sell it at Walmart it's that Shakespeare it's a Shakespeare uh, micro what is it micro spin cost me like 20 bucks the reel on the on the rod really really sucks and I used it till it broke so it doesn't work anymore but uh, in one of my other videos one of my rods broke and so it had this nice reel on it and so and then on this rod the reel broke uh, so it was a good matchup I put it on there and dang, I need to change my line no but I, I uh, you know I put it on there and it works uh, perfectly fine it's an ultralight rod, uh, you know, and I, I but I put uh, six pound test on there. I always use six pound because this is the rod I use, and I also use it for bass, not just for trout. And it's about it's uh, four foot six, as you can see right there. So that's the rod I use for bass fishing and for uh, trout fishing. Hey guys, uh, sorry my video actually cut off on that last. Uh, Part. Anyways, uh, that was all my the stuff I basically use for trout fishing, and it works for me. You know, there's also some flies I use, but the flies I don't use them so so much for uh, trout fishing the stock. I use them for in the canyons, which I'll show them to you in another video because me and my brothers are going to be going up to the canyons and fishing for native trout very soon. So, for the most part, freshwater lures that's what I use. Anyways. As I was uh, making that other video, or the other scene to this video, I saw a bee's nest on top of this tree, and I wanted to show them to you guys, so check it out. I'm going to get as close as I can to it, but it is kind of huge. See it there? Let me zoom in here real quick. It even has like the, the honeycomb things in there. It's freaking awesome look at that thing I've never been stung by a bee so I don't know if I'm allergic to them but uh, I'll try to be careful so I don't get stung all right look there's you can see uh dang it I lost it let me zoom out here there it is check it out check it out you can see the honeycomb things right there Wow. By the way guys, I love bees, honeybees. I think they're an amazing animal. See the honeycomb things right there? Wow, that is awesome. Huge. Look at how far I am from it. It's like the tree, like Jesus Christ, it looks so cool. Let me see if I can get a different view from it or it, of it. Like right underneath it. Right there, let me see. Look at that, look at that. Those big honey honeycomb things. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of on a hill, so it's kind of... Wow, look at that. Amazing, isn't it? What those honeybees can do, that is awesome. Anyways, guys, I'm going to conclude the video now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have any more suggestions on any other videos, just let me know and I'll make them happen. Alright guys, so take care and see you all later. Alright, never mind, I'm not I'm not done yet. I just wanted to show you the honey uh, thing one more time, or the bees nest one more time, and uh, but this time from the other view. Look at all those freaking bees, that's lots of them, wow. Thousands and thousands, look at that. I like those honeycombs though. So. Alright, so that's about it. Just wanted to show you guys that. Alright, so later guys.